going on everyone it is Bucky here and today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys your very first tutorial in the C programming language now C is a little different than C++ it came out before C++ but um, due to a high demand of people wanting me to teach this language uh, here I am teaching it so the first thing I need you guys to do is open is open your compiler I'm using my dev C++ compiler and if you guys don't know how to get this, um, I already made a tutorial on how to download this compiler and test to see if it's running. And I will include that tutorial on the right side of your screen in the description box. So if you guys don't have a compiler yet, just click on that link and it will teach you how to download and test your C++ compiler. The next thing you want to do is get a new source file and you do that by clicking file new source file and once you have one open um, you're gonna wanna put file save as and you can name it whatever you want <coughs> and you're gonna wanna save it as a C source file then click save I already have one open so I'm gonna go ahead and close this one and I have one open called work C so once you have that open you're ready to go ahead and start typing so let's get started learning the C programming language the first thing you always do or usually you're gonna want to include something called a preprocessor now what a preprocessor does <coughs> is after you type this code you're gonna want to translate it into um, machine code ones and zeros that the computer can run but before you want to translate it into ones and zeros you're gonna want to include something tell the computer how to use this information you just got it so it's a lot easier after I uh, just show you guys so go ahead type the pound sign or the number sign some of you might call it and type include and then put a less than sign and put stdio.h and then put the greater than sign and what this is going to do right here is it's going to include your standard input and output header and with this, anytime you include something, it pretty much gives you a list of functions that you can use to uh, in your program. And since we're gonna just be printing basic text out on the screen, we're gonna we're gonna be using a function called printf. Now, if we didn't include this, then when you wrote printf on the screen, your compiler is gonna go, "All right, what the h does printf mean?" But since we included this printf is a function within this header so now we can use a whole list of functions and printf is included in one of them the next thing that you need to do when making a C program after including the headers that you need to include and this is the only one I'm going to teach you guys in this tutorial you're going to want to write int let me move this main and in parentheses write the word void now what this does is this every C program has a function called main that your computer knows alright I need to run this function first and that's pretty much why you have main in all of your programs since um, C is gonna look for this program right here main and it's gonna run this one first and now if you're asking alright what does int and void mean every function can return a value now in this case um, that's all you really need to know for now The int stands for integer and this function is going to return an integer value but we're going to be talking about that later and void in your parentheses means that it just takes an argument and void means alright we're not taking any arguments or it's not um, asking for any info right now so um, again the only thing you really need to know off, off of all this is pretty much that main is the first thing that uh, C looks for these are the uh, functions that uh, we're gonna have the print F function and that's included in this this is why we're able to use that and this other stuff I'm gonna be teaching you guys in uh, other tutorials but uh, I just need to have it in this one but I'll be going into depth in it in later tutorials so make sure to check along there alright and again as I said main is the first function 
that C looks for. And if you say, all right, what's a function? A function is pretty much just a set of instructions that you tell your computer what to do. And all of the instructions go in curly braces right here. You have an opening brace and a closing curly brace. And anything you type inside it is pretty much um, the instructions. So this main is pretty much like a recipe. And what we're going to be typing he in here is like a step by step of what to do. So the first thing we want to do is output just basic text on the screen that says, um, hello world. But you just don't write hello world like that. You need to do a special function. And that's print f, which is our print function that we are able to use because of this right here. And then in your parentheses, you're, you have to add two double quotes. And inside here, you write hello world. In the double quotations right here, this tells C that it's a string of text. So that's why we we're able to write hello world in your printf function. And after every single statement, you need a semicolon. So again, write printf, and this either means like print file or, or print function or something like that. I don't know what it is. But it's printf, in your parentheses, add um, quotation marks and then write hello world and you have to end every single statement with a semicolon and the semicolon means alright see this is the end of the instruction you can move on to the next line and after this um here I'm gonna show you guys what this does right here if you execute compile and run it's gonna compile and it takes a little bit to compile and then a box I don't know if you guys can see it on YouTube but a box is just gonna flash up on your screen real quick it just did and this is because in C, your computer automatically knows, all right, run all this, and when it's done, I want you just to exit the program. But we're like, hey, we want to see actually what we just did. So we're going to want to include another function, and that's get ch. And all this stands for is get character. Now, this is useful when you sometimes when you like want to um, input data in um you're going to want to save it like what if it says enter your name you're going to want to save it and stuff but for this function right here we're just going to say all right print hello world on the screen and we just want you to get a character not for any information purposes but we just want you to wait pause and wait for us to type any letter on the screen just so we can see what we actually did so let me ex execute this compile and run and after it compiles uh, as you guys can see, here's our program that just uh, compiled and ran. Instead of just running all this and exiting, see this little blinking line right there? That means it's waiting for us to get a character. That's what that little blinking line means. So whenever I press anything on my keyboard, let me press H, that's when it goes on to the rest of the code and it exits the program. So um, this is your very first program right here. Uh, Again, to recap one last time, we included uh, a header that allowed us to use a couple built-in functions. And again, we put all those functions in the main program since this is the first thing that it looks for when running a program. And all we did is print basic text to the screen. So in the next tutorial, um, I don't know what I'm going to be teaching you guys, but it's most likely going to be awesome. So again... I'll be making a bunch of these tutorials, so if you want to learn C, check out the rest of these tutorials. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.